Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Natalie the Don, Iron Man, your host, Dominic, or Shadow Fury, whichever you prefer. And we are back to another 1v1, North Chilean G on Spiders, KDTM on Glogi, and the map is Wanderlust. We are going! Already North Chilean G, starting with a handful of fleas just to try to scout out, see what's going on. You know, the standard thing. Set up fleas in the line to know what's happening. While at the same time, KDTM going for his typical cloaky start. A couple of glaives into, into repeat glaive. Although very early, very early reaver. Very, very early reaver. I wonder if they're going to keep that once they discover their opponents are going for any for spiders, which don't really need reavers to fight. Generally against spiders, you kind of want to go glaive ronin, but reavers might just be used as an assault force. I mean, really think about it. If the reavers come in there, the reavers could theoretically come in and just wipe out everything. I mean, there's not a whole lot defending anything. The force is being used. The venom is going to be a bit of a problem, but, you know, with the glaives distracting it at first, the reaver could still wipe it out in time, depending on the micro. Maybe that will be the assault force, but I'm thinking North Chilean, or KDTM was thinking, you know what, no, 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 I'm just going to build a reaver just in case any early raiders come in, not as confident in their raider micro. Maybe. That makes sense to me. Still, though, North Chilean G is going for spiders, so I'm curious what the response is going to be. KDTM, I, like I said, I kind of want to see them go for Ronin, because that's usually what you do. That's, that's the accepted strategy, at least. But whether or not that is, in fact, the strategy taken remains to be seen. Still, though, KDTM is going to be at least in a reasonably good position to deal with this. I mean, again, they are cloaky. So, while well, I have to worry about Venom Redback a little bit, Fleas are essentially destroyed by all the Glaives coming in. And it looks like North Australian G is not going for Mass Flea. That is really no longer a thing, as far as I can tell, which doesn't surprise me. KDTM, on the other hand, is risking it quite a lot. Venom is coming in here, and KDTM is aware of it. Fighting with the Glaives, which, of course, does not start well, because Venom's beat Glaives thoroughly. But that's, of course, where this Reaver would theoretically come in. I don't know if KDTM actually knows where their opponents are. They don't. They don't have radar. My bad. North Chilean G, on the other hand, should should have radar. Oh, no, they don't. They're just not building a Reaver. Weaver. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, Weavers provide radar for spiders, but they aren't necessarily the first unit you build. And actually, North Chilean G has started out very aggressively. Like, remarkably aggressively, actually. They're using their commander entirely on their expansion, but... They're otherwise not focusing on anything else, while at the same time, KDTM, they got an early Conjurer, they have the Commander expanding as well. Now, it's going to come down to how safe that expansion is, but assuming KDTM can hold on to it, they are going to be at an advantage starting out. And we saw in the last game how much that sort of thing can help. Same time, KDTM going for a very early... Seriously? This this early? I mean, sure, it's it's an option, but it's risky. The amount of, the amount of time required, the amount of metal required to make a Phantom... That's going to be a lot. I mean, think about it. There's, what is it, 600? 750 metal. It's right there. 750 metal. That means at this stage in the game, it's going to take at least, well, it took, well, 75 seconds is base. This looks like 40 seconds. For the amount of metal, sorry, 75 seconds was total because there's no caretakers. Yeah, this is the thing. It's taking such a long time. The Phantom being built up, but stunned out immediately as it did take a little bit too long. Finally getting out of the factory, though. Does get stunned, still, thanks to this Lotus. But, hey, got out of the factory. But still, I fan I, I, Okay, it makes sense. It's just this early in the game, I don't really understand. I mean, think about it. A Phantom... Yeah, okay, it'll take out basically anything the spiders throw at them without getting into Venom range. Sure. But it's also take 75 seconds. Took over a minute to build. That would have been... No, three... Four, no, how many Ronin? That would have been, in that time, about... Six Ronin? No, I can't math. Eight Ronin. Would have been eight Ronin in that time. There would have been more than enough to actually take out anything being sent at them and storm the base back. Now, I do agree in part, though. Recluses are going to be taken out by Phantoms. Like, the Phantom will counter the Recluse, which is usually the counter to Ronin. So if that was the thinking, okay, well done. That makes sense. But it's it was still very risky, and I do like the fact that the Phantom has actually managed to work out and actually do a really good job defensively, so I'll give it that. But, boy, that was... That was not what I expected. That was still really risky. That was still a position where I thought, okay, North Chilean G, now, what are you, you going to do? What options do you have at this... Or sorry, KDTM. What options do you have at this point that are actually going to get you what you need? Because at this point, I don't see it beyond the Phantom, but then, of course, Fleas come in. Now, that's where Glaives come in. Get rid of the Fleas. So, Glaive Phantom would make a lot of sense. They're, however, going for a Ronin Reaver Phantom with a... 
real need for a PQ. And this button right here, super important. You don't need to micro your own construction. That's one of those really cool features of Zero K. But still, you know, Reaver, Glaive, Ronin, good combination. I like it. It's going to be able to get rid of the Reckless's. It's going to be able to get rid of a lot of the Fleas. Basically, not a whole lot can be thrown at KDTM right now that's actually going to stick. Except for the fact that they aren't building enough to avoid issues with reclaim, or sorry, issues with excess. But still, KDTM has an economic advantage. They have a really strong unit type advantage, assuming they're able to keep the Phantom alive and, and not hit the Fleas. And they're in an okay, not in a great ter position territory-wise. That's the one downside. Like, their territory control is lacking. Uh, most of that is that more North Chilean G has great scouting. North Chilean G knows exactly what's happening basically on the entire map. And KDTM just straight doesn't. Also, getting rid of the Venoms means that the Recklesses are dead, which means a bunch of Reclaim has just been fed over to KDTM's side. And North Chilean G's commander going kind of forward without a whole lot in the way of a backup plan. And that commander has been not upgraded. And these Glaives are going to be coming in there to actually deal some damage. And that... Oh, that's not enough. Six Glaives would be enough if there was no Lotus. But there is a Lotus, so no, I'm afraid. Granted, with the Ronin and the Reavers, that is still an option. But I think North Chilean G's commander is unassailable. Don't bother that. It, no, that's going to be death. There is no way this gets through. I mean, the Glaives are going to get rid of one, maybe one, maybe two of the Lotuses. The commander is going to survive. Yeah, that... Bit of a shame, but so it goes sometimes. You do have to be careful when it comes to going uphill into defenses, which is exactly what happened. That's that's not a safe position. That's just throwing that out there. You can't really rely on that. You got to make sure not to be too defensive. So wait, that's not what I'm going to say. You have to be sure to respect your opponent's defensiveness because that's exactly what wasn't respected. And that's how things kind of are falling apart on the south side of the map. Actually, you know what? Come to think of it, there is still a Sparrow. There is still a Sparrow. That is still actually doing a lot of the work that the Fleas are doing for North Chilean G. I mean, granted, it isn't spotting the Fleas. But, hey, whatever. The Reavers are here. The Reavers can get rid of the Fleas, no problem. So, yeah, you know, get rid of them. As long as they don't get stunned out, they should be able to get rid of any Venoms that come in. Phantoms get rid of any of the Rexes that come in. The only downside here is KDTM is actually starting to lose a bit of their positioning. Like, these forces have to be very near each other. I know I always say, line move, line move, line move. This is the one exception. Point move, right now, because you need those... Well, either point move or put them on guard. I put the Reavers in guard orders for the Phantom. That way the Phantom moves around. It's not clear that it's the Phantom being guarded, from the perspective of North Chilean G. But the Reavers also don't ever get too far away from the Phantom to defend it. So it still works out. I mean, that's the idea, at least. On the other hand, KDTM having gone for an air factory this early in the game, while North Chilean G is still trying to set up their production properly, this still could be a useful tool. I mean, KDTM is still in a way ahead as far as the game progression goes. So it's a matter of how secure that can be. If they can hold on to this advantage, the economic advantage, the advantage of having an air response on top of everything else, force North Chilean G into actually responding to the air, then that could work. But at the same time, they just lost their Phantom. They just lost a huge asset they had that made everything seem that much better, which, granted, they've tra traded that out for a Raven, which is also another huge asset that makes everything better. Which is getting rid of com getting rid of workers all over the place. Getting rid of constructors all over the place. So... Definitely not the People's Raven, but it is still doing its job. More importantly, it's doing the job of making sure North Chilean G can't expand. Or at least limiting the amount of expansion that can happen. Which is pretty much what KDTM wants. KDTM's economic advantage is the one thing they have going for them. If they can hold on to that and make sure North Chilean G does not contest it directly, then there's still quite a lot of hope for KDTM. I mean, really, KDTM is actually in a reasonably good position. North Chilean G is kind of forced to defend halfway through the map. They've got the south side reasonably well, but they only have the north side. And now that Hacksaw has been destroyed, any Ravens that are already built up can and will come in to take out that commander. Yeah, this commander's dead at the same time. The Ronin trying to build up as much as they can to get rid of everything else. And there's that commander. It is going to go down. North Chilean G losing their commander and pretty much losing control over the south side of the map. Not a whole lot else is going to defend that. And the caretaker goes down as North Chilean G decides they're done. There's no way back in this game. KDTM... Just taking it away from them.
So that is that. North Chilean G. Nice try, but KDTM, well done with that early strong economy and overall just strong everything. I mean, strong army, strong economy, strong attrition. I mean, it's hard to say now because the attrition value just exploded because North Chilean G exploded. Still, KDTM, even match, hard, hard fought match, but that Phantom really did work out. That Phantom did win the game, and North Chilean G is actually in the chat right now. Yep, you're right, North Chilean G. The Phantom won, wins the game. So with that, we're going to have one last match. It is going to be a free-for-all on Fata Morgana. I know I don't normally do this, but it was a shorter match, and it seemed relatively even, and some and Kingstead said offhandedly, hey, why don't you do an FFA? And I thought, you know what? Why don't I do something different? That's not a bad idea. So we're going to have that in a couple minutes. Stay tuned. <laughs> 